I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 17th of December, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life. Right now in New York, we're here in the United States for the holidays, and I'm recording as best as I can without a studio and it being way too cold to go outside and record. Today is about negative two, negative three Celsius, and uh, that's pretty chilly. So I'm in the guest bedroom at my father's apartment here in Geneseo, New York, in the hammocks. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick view out this window so you can kind of see what it's like out there. This is the housing development right next to where Dominica and I uh, first lived when we uh, got our first house. I mentioned that a few times on the video. So today is the 17th and this is our first full day being here in Geneseo for the year. Uh, we got in yesterday, uh, but partway through the day, we were pretty tired after our long flight. So we went to bed at a pretty good time and got up pretty early this morning. So we don't have a lot going on. We're trying to mostly relax and chill here at the house and, and, and just take our time um, to be able to visit and everything. But uh, today we did have a couple errands that we wanted to run. Uh, so the morning I got logged in, I have my new laptop. I was able to get online and do a little bit of catch up with work. I'm a bit behind on the videos, but we knew that was gonna happen and we're very well uh, prepared for that, especially now with Liesl helping with the editing. It is so much easier to catch up uh, because I'm able to record these. And with the new camera, the uh, workflow of uploading the videos is so much easier. Uh, and uh, my father has really fast internet here, so the combination is, is quite good for us. We're able to um, uh, record and edit and upload and kind of do those things simultaneously so we're able to move much faster, uh, and it keeps me from being completely stuck sitting at the laptop all of the time, which is one of the tough things at home traditionally is that I just never get a chance uh, to go on and do anything else, so that, uh, that's really nice. Liesl's doing so much help for that and she's really fast at editing the videos uh, because she stays focused. When I'm at my laptop, I'm distracted by emails and messages coming in and this and that. And when she works on it, it's not her laptop. So she just goes in, goes to full screen on the editor and just focuses and, and gets done quite quickly. So it's, it's making a big difference. Plus the new laptop renders the videos it feels like more than twice as fast. It's really noticeable, whether it's the CPU being faster, or the GPU being faster, or the memory bandwidth being fat, being larger, um, the, the, the NVMe drive being faster, something is making editing the videos crazy easy and fast. Uh, so we're, we're loving that, that's, that's absolutely great. Um, so this morning was all just kind of catch up and stuff, and then uh, Luciana said she would come with me, and then eventually Dominica said she would come with me too. And we went to the Abbey of the Genesee, and for those who don't know what that is, that is a Trappist monastery that is located in Piffard, New York, which is in the town of York, which is where my high school is. So this is the monastery right down the hill from where I grew up as a child, and uh, they are famous for their uh, homemade or monastery made bread. And this is the bread I grew up with. My mother loved especially their sunflower bread, but all of their breads. And this is um, for the most part, the breads that we bought all through my childhood, uh, especially once I was a few years old. When I was really little, we had a lot of wonder bread, but by the time I was little, it was monk's bread. And that's just what we always called it. It was oh, get the monk's bread, go to, well, uh, go to Wegmans, get the monk's bread. And we never got it at the monastery. So I've never actually been into the monastery. The monastery was in my bicycle route, so I used to go past it. I had friends who lived in that area, like in Pafard, and uh, so I would be down there pretty often, so I would go past it. I've seen it, and I've seen pictures of it, uh, but I've never been in. Dominica, when she was in college, because she went to university here at State University of New York campus at Geneseo, right behind me here, um, is very close from here to uh, the monastery. So when she was going to college here, she and her roommate Jen would uh, head over to there to get fresh warm bread in the morning. So that's a thing that they used to do. So that was kind of special for her. So we all went there and now it's far more than just a bakery because back when she used to do it, uh, you would just go in, drop a dollar in the box and take a loaf of warm bread. Now there's a full monastery store. There is a receptionist. There's a monk working the desk. They have a, a large bread selection, but they also have a lot of other items that they sell. They have a bookstore and biscotti that they make there. And then a lot of products from other monasteries uh, or similar um, that they sell in the store. And it's, it's pretty interesting. They did not, we were hoping that they would have fruitcake because historically they made fruitcake, but the monk that was there said it's been probably maybe 20 years since they made fruitcake there. So the really delicious fruitcake that they are kind of famous for 
no longer available. Uh, but we got a couple loaves of bread to bring back and some biscotti. And uh, we were kind of excited about that. And I wanted to stop in and visit the monastery because I'm now working with a Maronite monastery in Massachusetts. And they were familiar with the Abbey of the Genesee and very excited that this is where I grew up and that I knew them. And so I stopped in and took some pictures and, and uh, sent them back to the monastery that I'm working with uh, to show them that we had visited. They thought that was really cool. Uh, so we did that. And then on the way home, Dominica wanted to stop at Walmart. And we ended up doing quite a large run at Walmart. Uh, and we're there for a while, but we need a lot of things. We had to get clothes, Luciana got new shoes, um, things like that. And then we did a lot of grocery shopping because we're gonna be here uh, for several days. And of course, the big thing for us is that we can't get um, fake meat products very much. We can in Nicaragua, we can get them and we do, uh, but the selection is very limited and um, definitely not the same as here in the US. And since the time that we left, um, or close to the time we were leaving, a lot of new fake meat products were exploding on the market. Impossible burgers were new, Beyond burgers were new, uh, Gardein chicken was new, uh, and some new players have come up as well. Uh, and Morningstar introduced Incognito, which we'd never had before, uh, but we knew about. And so there's all this like heavy competition in the meat-free space here in the US, um, and we don't have that. We have just very basic uh, options and few and far between, and it's mostly just, uh, you can get patties, for example, uh, like burger patties uh, or chicken nuggets. But here in the US, you can get pre-made meals made with stuff, all kinds of things, including like uh, Marie Callender uh, traditional pot pie made with uh, veggie chicken. Like, like they, we don't get stuff like that. You have to make everything yourself. So the pre-made stuff is very exciting. Uh, Morningstar has a lot of new things that they didn't have before. Impossible and Beyond just have huge selections. So once we found that, we were pretty excited with all the different things that we could try. So we spent a bit of time investigating that uh, and shopping. We got quite a load of things. Um, and then came back to the house and hung out for the afternoon. I got back to work. I do have a lot I have to do. And then uh, this evening, our food for tonight, uh, we didn't want to go out, so we ordered Pizza Paul's. This is the pizza that we prefer here in Geneseo. I do like pepperonis and Pavilion better. That's what I grew up with. Um, even if I didn't grow up with it, I'm pretty confident I would prefer it. But Pizza Paul's does a really good job. Um, they no longer have their own blue cheese. When I was young, their blue cheese was the best around. Now they're just using pre-made uh, in little to-go things. So that that's unfortunate. Um, and they used to have really good brownies. They don't do the same brownies anymore. I mean, it's been over 20 years, right? Well, almost 20 years. Um, so things are not going to stay completely the same. But the pizza is basically the same and very good. Everybody enjoyed that. Um, and Dad was, he, I don't think he's ever had Pizza Paul's, or if he has, it's been many, many, many years. And so he was pretty excited when he tried it. He's like, oh, this is a good pizza right around the corner that he can have delivered. Uh, so, and that's, he has not really been doing delivery here uh, in his apartment. Uh, mostly he gets groceries and cooks at home or goes out to, you know, eat with people. And so delivery isn't such a big thing, but having those options and having uh, systems set up for that, I think they use a thing called toast here. They don't have, um, obviously, Ugo and Pedido's jaw like we have. Uh, down in Nicaragua, but they also don't have uh, Uber Eats and, and DoorDash and that stuff here in Geneseo. Uh, so they have their own things and some places do their own delivery. Uh, so now he has that set up and is able to do that. But we had good luck uh, last night with University Hots and tonight with Pizza Paul's uh, getting delivery here to his apartments. So that seems like a pretty good, cool option for doing that here. After that, that was pretty much our evening. We had pizza for dinner and uh, hung out a little bit longer, and, uh, and that was it. This is really a relaxing day for us, getting the holiday started, and I'm going to be doing a lot of work and videos the next couple days. Uh, we do have the weekend coming up, but we don't have any real plans, really. When we're here in New York, we try to stay um, and be as low-key as possible once we get to Texas on Wednesday. Then things get really crazy, and it's just it's so hectic. Uh, but I'm really happy for the new laptop. It's going to make it much easier for me to go and hide in a corner somewhere. I'm going to be much more mobile. Uh, traditionally, my laptops are very big, very bulky, uh, hard to move around. and need to be plugged in a lot of the time. This laptop, uh, it looks like it's lasting me multiple days on a single charge. It's very light, very small. Uh, quite rigid, so it's easy to just grab it and move from place to place. Uh, it's a 13-inch machined aluminum, so very, very easy to move around. 
Uh, so I think that's going to make things easier there, but I'm going to be struggling to get the videos out, of course, but we will, we will keep that moving. Uh, and that's about it. So please remember to like and subscribe, ask any questions, get those comments down below. What are you doing for the holidays? Are you traveling, going anywhere interesting? Are you heading down south to somewhere like Nicaragua, getting that, uh, that warm weather? Are you going up north and uh, the, those blizzards that are coming? Uh, we hear there's a bomb cyclone coming and a big Arctic blast that's going to hit um, my thumbnail editor Valentina is headed to Colorado during the incredible Arctic blast and she's from Merida, Mexico, which is the hottest city in Mexico. So going into where they're saying they could hit as much as negative 60, she's going to be loving that. That's, that'll be quite the experience for her, um, Colorado to a whole new level. And uh, uh, share on social media and if you'd like to buy me a coffee. That does so much to help the channel. That comes directly to me and helps keep us warm here in the cold, snowy northeast. We go through a lot of coffee from Tim Hortons trying to, uh, to hold it all together and keep from, from melting. And I'll just give a quick, this is the room that we stay in. And Luchana's here hiding in the bed. Hi, Luchana. I don't even know if she's paying attention. Uh, but this is the guest room at my father's house. Thanks for joining me. I will see all of you tomorrow.